We're sitting with uh, George van Espey, the lead man of uh, Taxi Violence and Goodnight Wembley. But first of all, Goodnight Wembley, you guys got your first single out and uh, you're in studio currently recording the full album. Yeah. Can you tell us more about the process and what's going down? Uh, at the moment, we, um, we're on our drummer's farm in Stellenbosch. It's uh, quite secluded, uh, which is exactly what we kind of wanted, you know, like a relaxed atmosphere where we can like stay there, have a little bra in the evenings, and then when you wake up, you feel like starting to record. You can start at 12, whatever, you work till 1 in the morning if you want to. Depends on if inspiration strikes, you know. And so are, you, are you guys writing in the studio? Um, we have been writing two new songs in the studio. The rest of the stuff we did a lot of pre prod for at Kill City. And um, yeah, I mean, not much has changed from, from the pre prod that we did. Um, yeah, dude, it's, it's you know, something pretty big. But, you know, it's going to be a massive rock album, I think. Taxi Violence is, is, a, is a very edgy band. And Goodnight Wembley seems to have a bit more of a, a, of a pop appeal. Uh, would it be great to say that? Yeah, I think like um, Wembley's perhaps got stronger hooks, something that people can hold on to and it's easier to, to uh, remember, perhaps, you know, it's, there's like an instant catchiness to it. Um, although it's still got that heavy, heavy edge to it, you know. Whereas Taxi is a bit more blues rock orientated and not necessarily concentrating so much on the, the pop element or the hook element of it. You know, we kind of do what we want to, but at the same time, there's a good balance between the hook and what we want to do. You know? And uh, uh, tell me, you guys obviously have some plans to get this out abroad. Um, um, we kind of just uh, we're in talks with a couple of labels. Um, one major one in particular that I can't mention. Um, but we'll see. You know, everything's negotiable, as they say. Um, but yeah, you know, there's with the internet these days. You know, your stuff is pretty much worldwide. Um, you know, although it's not necessarily in somebody's store. You know. Um, we'll see what happens, you know, like I, I don't think people know really what to expect, they only know the one song Time Machine and I think they're going to be pleasantly surprised when they hear the other stuff. I mean, uh, and so Time Machine has been doing good on 5 and on, on MK as well? Yes, yeah, and it's been doing pretty well on various campus stations. Um, yeah, uh, it was quite a surprise, I mean, I don't even think people know that it's uh, a band of uh, you know, different musicians from different bands, um, which is kind of a cool thing, you know, because it's instant to feel without knowing that it's me from Taxi and Nick from Seven Sun and blah blah blah. You know. The other day I was talking to a friend of mine and we were talking about the band Drain. <laughs> and, uh, uh, and, and how old were you? You were like 14, 15? Yeah, I was 14 when we played all the copy for the first time, released our album, first got signed. 1996, 97. Yeah. And, and, did, <laughs> and you played the drums? Yeah. Do you still drum now and then? Um, I do actually, yeah. Like, um, I, have, I work a lot with like our drummer from Wembley, you know. Like, I'm ideas man. <laughs> um, no, you know, like, if I hear a specific beat in my head, you know, like, we'll, I'll, I'll play it to him and then he'll make it his own type of thing or vice versa, you know. You know, if he can't figure out something, you know, we collaborate on that, that side. So, it, it's quite fun still to have that kind of input. Yeah, what I always liked about drums is that you can like just get your frustration out and nobody can say a fucking thing. Yeah. Any any release date plans for the for the Wembley album? Uh yeah, I think we've we're looking at early Feb. 2013. Yeah, 2013. Uh, it should be mixed and mastered by then and hopefully all the negotiations have gone to plan. According to plan and yeah, like we've booked the tour, I think, from the 13th of Feb already. So, yeah, yeah, that's the goal. You know, let's see what happens. <laughs> Thanks, James Rolling Stone, George, and good luck with the album. And you guys are playing tonight, right? Yes, 9 p.m. 9 p.m. What, what can the Synergy folk expect uh, from the gig? Jeez, face melting, 
<laughs> Rock and roll, man. <laughs> what did you think with of Pro <laughs> with the hook? Uh, what did you think of Prodigy? Mm. I thought they were really cool. I mean, I saw them in 2000. Um, it was in 2000. I was 16. Uh, it was my first drug experience. It was great. <laughs> uh, and uh, this time I was sober. It was quite weird. Um, so it was still fun, but I, I couldn't really stand at the front. It was too hectic. <laughs>